be asking him some questions about what inspired him to go to law school, what inspired him to become an IP attorney, and Explore just a little bit about his life. the eyes of your clients sometimes, uh, but it's a joy, it is. And so what are the most like interesting kind of experiences that you've had as a, as a, as a, as a lawyer today to, to tell us a little bit about that? Sometimes you get clients with crazy ideas, Raj. Uh, sometimes you get some that, you know, um, a little bit harebrained, uh, and then sometimes you get some that you really think are revolutionary, uh, particularly in the patent world. Um, but, you know, uh, it, it's it's always fun. You never know what you're going to get. It is something new uh, to to you and sometimes to this world, you know, uh, every day of the job. Um, so never get bored, always busy. Um, sometimes you really do come across the really cool stuff. Yeah. And so you have kind of that science background, so you help your clients with their entire intellectual property, right? So yes. What, what kinds of things do you help with? Um, well, sometimes we, it depends on what the needs are, right? So primarily when people come to me, they come to me for um, trademarks at the moment. Um, sometimes that their portfolio develops and has other needs, copyrights or, or, or patents. And um, we start there. Sometimes they need some, some business development. Sometimes there's some um, licensing or negotiation stuff that, that pops up arising primarily from the the initial consult about uh, trademarks but uh, I think the important thing is for, for attorneys that are that are looking to develop books is ask questions you never know what your client may need if you, if you don't listen to them when they speak so active listening is a big one make sure you ask questions and listen because that's the only way you'll know what the needs are right Protect your brand with Trademarkia. Register your trademark on trademarkia.com.